Hey guys, welcome to Deep South Outdoors. And I just wanted to quickly show you, I caught a little baby ribbon snake here. I had to catch him because they move pretty quick. It's hard to video them. This is a lot smaller than the one that was in the other video I have. This here's probably a little yearling. It was born this year. He's probably not been about maybe six inches long. He's pretty small. But as you can see, he's kind of got those really big eyes. He's nocturnal. And they're really, really docile. They make really great little pets. They eat small fish, small frogs, and real, real small insects and stuff. And uh, he's he's probably only, like I said, six inches. He was born this year, and they are live bears, so they didn't come from an egg or anything. They was born live. But I just thought I'd show you guys him real quick. It's really hard to tell if it's a male or female at this age. And I'm fixing to let him go and on a safer place because there's a lot of birds and different things will eat them. And also I'm trying to find the safest place to let him go where he have a better chance of living. But they're just like a garter snake. And all except for the garter snake will have more lines down their back. I think it's like three or more. And they pretty much will just have that one down their back there. But as you can see he's not trying to bite or anything. Just a real docile little snake here. They're real fun to catch and all and keep for a little while. It's always best to let them go because they're real hard to feed whenever they're in captivity and all. As you can see, you don't even try to bite or anything. He's just wanting to go ahead and get that go. And also, they they got like a real red tongue. I don't know if you can see it or not. And he sticks it out. My camera's not wanting to do right where I can get a good shot of it. But that's another characteristic of garter snakes and ribbon snakes. They got a real red tongue and all. And also I noticed on him, if I could find it, yeah, right here he's got a little mark on him there. Something must have tried to peck at him or try to eat him or something. And all his bet over time that should go away after a few sheds and stuff, that little black dot there. But they got a real yellow stomach. As you can see, he don't even try to bite or anything. They make real good little, you know, pet-like things, you know, to catch and just mess with and then let go again. So he don't even bite me. I mess with his head and he don't even bite. He just more or less wants to be left alone. And I'm going to go ahead and let him go. And hopefully he'll get to be bigger and stuff. But as you can see, he's just a real docile, real timid snake once you catch them they're quick trying to catch them they'll try to get away but once you hold them for a minute or two they get just like this they're just real calm you know you can do just about anything to them they don't try to get away too much you know but i'm gonna go ahead and let him go and go right down here and just see where all he goes i don't know if i can get a good shot of him leaving I'm going to go ahead and let him go in this safer area though. There he goes. But that's a ribbon snake for you, a baby one. Like I said, he ain't been about six inches. And also, I just thought I'd let you guys see that. And I'm going to keep on looking for more different little animals and stuff and all.